Okay, uh, powers and exponents. Here we go. So, what is a power? A power is repeated multiplication. So, kind of like how multiplication is repeated addition, a power is going to be repeated multiplication. Every time we have a power, it consists of a base and an exponent. In our example here, 5 is the base number and 2 is the exponent. 2 is the number that's a little bit of a subscript to the 5. So it's a little bit smaller and it's raised up. Okay. Sometimes what we'll say is we'll actually call this 5 to the power of 2. 5 to the power of 2. Okay. The exponent is what tells us how many times to multiply the base number by itself. So in this case, we would take 5 and we would multiply it by itself two times. Okay, let's get, get a little bit better picture of what that would look like. Okay, so here we have, an, we have a power. We have four to the power of three. Three is our exponent. Okay. Three is our exponent. So in this case, remember we're saying a power a power is a base and repeated multiplication. The exponent tell us how many times to multiply the base by itself. So in this case, four. So the third power would tell me to take four and multiply it by itself three times. Four times four times four. One, two. So if I wanted to fully evaluate. Four. So 16 times four. And then I multiply 16 times four and I would get 64. So four to the third power is the same as four times four times four, which is when I evaluate it, I get 64. Okay, so I'm gonna write that all out again. So four, to the third power is the same as four times four times four, which is the same as sixty-four. Okay. Okay. Here's the one that I want. This next one I want you to do on your own. Okay. Let's say we're going to take. I'm going to go black here. Okay. Um. Let's take six to the fourth power. Okay. Do that one on your own. What would the six to the fourth power be? So we'll go ahead and hit pause and then you can check your answer. Okay, so six times four is the same as, we're gonna repeat multiplication of six four times. So six times six times six.
time step. All right? I'm going to multiply it out. Times six times six. Thirty six times six. Okay, if you did it longhand, uh, you should have gotten two hundred and sixteen. And I multiply that by six. And when I multiply that by six, Longhand, you get 1,296. So hopefully that's what you got.